Hello dear listener. Today I want to talk about guilt, and specifically German guilt. Now we all know that modern politics is in the West is quite steeped in guilt. Especially in Germany there's the guilt about the war, but across the Atlantic there's also white guilt. And a lot of our Western modern politics is about self-flagellation for all the sins of colonialism and genocide and so on that we committed in the past. And that we are collectively guilty for, apparently. <clears throat> and um, in Germany there's a specific concept that, that involves this guilt, called the Sonderweg, which means special path. And it's basically the idea that Germany travel the unique course through history and in a modern context it's used to mean that Germany uh, was uniquely capable of committing the Holocaust because they had a certain immorality to them a certain authoritarianism to them a certain unquestioning following of orders inherent in the German character that no other people could so no other people could have committed the Holocaust now this is of course a bit of a strange assertion, seeing as that the Holocaust of all the genocides of the 20th century maybe comes in the top 10, but it's certainly not at the top. The communist genocides are far worse. And besides that, I mean, concentration camps were invented by the British Empire, and the British Liberal Democratic Empire committed a fair amount of starvations, genocides, and so on of their own. So, it's it's sort of... It's a concept in historiography, but really it's just a means to guilt trip Germans for who they are. Because I really don't think that the assertion that Germany is more uniquely evil than any other people is, is really true. Everyone is capable of immense cruelty and immense authoritarian violence. And many peoples have done it even on smaller or bigger scales. Anyway, this Sonderweg idea originated in Germany itself. Originally it was uh, the notion in the 19th century that Germany uh, had attained the best means of rule by being an uh, autocratic, aristocratic, monarchistic system that was more successful than the liberal democracies and so on, and the, the imperial rule of, say, Austria-Hungary and Russia. And they asserted this mainly based on the fact that they were incredibly productive. The, uh, by the end of the 19th century, Germany was the preeminent industrial power in Europe, having surpassed uh, Britain. It was not a colonial power, <clears throat> but it was uh, an economic power, just as it is today. It's still a huge economic power. Um, this changed after the war. After the war, not for the first decades, Germans weren't so guilt-tripped after the first decades of the war in the 60s and 70s. It's in the 70s and 80s that you start getting this phenomenon of, of, of this, this, this real guilt for the war. The Germans are uniquely guilty. And quite a lot of the extreme far-left tendencies are based on this. The Bader meinhof gang and so on, and other red terrorists. Um, that's, that's quite derived from this guilt complex, this, this hatred for what their, own, what their own people did, this hatred for their fathers and grandfathers and um, but it became even worse in the 1990s when a man called Daniel Goldhagen an, uh, an American published several books that were incredible bestsellers in Germany they're called Hitler's Willing Executioners A Moral Reckoning and Worse Than War Hitler's Willing Executioners was published in 1996, was a huge bestseller. And it's basically this idea that, uh, well, Ger not what I just said, Germans uh, being uh, lockstep following, lockstep followers just obeying orders without question and uniquely immoral. I'll read you an excerpt. Hitler's willing executioners posits that the vast majority of ordinary Germans were willing executioners in the Holocaust because of a unique and virulent, virulent eliminationist anti-Semitism in German identity which developed in the preceding centuries. Goldhagen argued that this eliminationist anti-Semitism was widespread in Germany, that this type of anti-Semitism was unique to Germany, and because of it ordinary Germans willingly killed Jews. Goldhagen asserted that this mentality grew out of medieval attitudes with a religious basis, but was eventually secularized. 
this uh, theory of the Zonderweg, it, uh, it frequently goes further back than just the 19th century, although it's a 19th century concept. Um, in a modern context, it is uh, sometimes taken as far back as Germanic paganism, but also to Lutheran Protestantism, where this sort of authoritarian, hardline radicalism uh, is seen as to be part of the Germanic character and expresses itself in... Uh, not just a Prussian militarist state, but also in Luther's hardline Protestantism, and before that in the ex extreme outings of violent paganism, the Viking raiding and so on. Uh, Berserker Gang, this idea of uh, dying in battle being better than uh, dying in your bed, all these sorts of ideas. That that's all unique to the German character, which makes them uniquely evil, or at least uniquely authoritarian and militaristic. Which, I'm not sure that that's necessarily wrong. Maybe it is uniquely German to be extreme in ways, and extremely authoritarian, because Germans today exhibit the same character trait, the opposite side. They are extremely willing to follow this morality of self-destruction and self-flagellation, and are unquestioning in executing it, and are very extreme in, in how harshly they implement it on themselves. So I guess it it might be true that these are aspects that are very inherent to the Germanic character. Still, it was this Goldhagen in the 90s that popularized uh, the Sonderweg theory such as it is today. Um, and that's of course a bit ironic, an American forcing Germans to feel more guilty. It's, it's a strange con contrast with, for example, in the 1960s David Irving published a book uh, about Dresden which was a bestseller in the UK because the British felt guilty about what they'd done to the Germans in the war and they wanted to sort of I don't know extirpate some of the guilt and uh, recognize that they too had done some bad things and that not all of the guilt was on, Germ on Germany's head that concept's of course completely gone in the modern uh, world there's sort of a secularized religion wherein Hitler is the devil anyway it's sort of an interesting concept, this Sonderweg idea, and it's interesting who pushes it and how it has shaped the modern German character. I just wanted to inform you, uh, listener, of this concept. You can do some more reading if you want about it yourself. Goldhagen's books are actually not that interesting. It's all about how the Holocaust is the worst thing ever and so on, and that uh, uh, National Socialism was terrible, all this stuff that really, if you, you, have, if you haven't gotten that in school yet, then... Really, you're not going to get much from these books. Anyway, that was that.